welcome to this video on the difference between a view and a materialized view. First, let's define what a view is. A view is a virtual table that is based on the result of a select statement. It does not store any data itself, but rather it references the data in the underlying tables. When you query a view, the database engine runs the select statement and returns the results to you. Now, let's talk about materialized views. A materialized view is also based on a select statement, but it is a physical table that stores the results of that statement. This means that when you query a materialized view, the database engine does not need to run the select statement again. Instead, it can simply return the data from the materialized view. One of the main advantages of using a materialized view is that it can greatly improve query performance. This is because the data is already stored in the materialized view, and so the database engine does not need to rerun the select statement each time the view is queried. This can be especially useful for large and complex queries that take a long time to execute. Another advantage of materialized views is that they can be indexed, which can further improve query performance. Since the data is already stored, we can create indexes on the materialized view to speed up the queries. There are also some disadvantages of materialized views. One of the main disadvantages is that they take up space on disk. Since the data is stored in the materialized view, it takes up space on disk, which can be a problem if you have a large amount of data. Another disadvantage is that the data in a materialized view can become stale. Since the data is stored in the materialized view, it will not reflect any changes made to the underlying tables until the materialized view is refreshed. This means that if the underlying data changes frequently, it will be necessary to refresh the materialized view frequently. To sum up, a view is a virtual table that is based on the result of a select statement and doesn't store any data. On the other hand, a materialized view is a physical table that stores the results of a select statement, which can greatly improve query performance, but it takes up space on disk and the data can become stale. Materialized views can be used in a variety of situations to improve query performance and make data more easily accessible. Here are a few examples of how materialized views can be used. Data warehousing. Materialized views can be used to pre-aggregate large amounts of data in a data warehouse. This can improve query performance for common business intelligence queries, such as sales by region or product category. Complex joins. Materialized views can be used to simplify complex join operations by pre-joining tables and storing the results in a materialized view. This can improve query performance, especially when the underlying tables are large and the join conditions are complex. Data replication. Materialized views can be used to replicate data between databases. This can be useful in situations where data needs to be made available in multiple locations, such as for disaster recovery or to support a distributed application. Summarizing data. Materialized views can be used to summarize data in a large table. For example, you could create a materialized view that groups data by month and year, which could be useful for running reports on historical data. Caching. Materialized views can be used to cache data to improve query performance. For example, a commonly used report could be materialized and then queried instead of running the report every time, this way it reduces the load on the database. Data integration. Materialized views can be used to integrate data from multiple sources. For example, you could create a materialized view that combines data from different databases or data sources, making it easier to access and query. It's important to note that when using materialized views, it's important to consider the trade-offs between improved query performance and increased disk space usage, as well as the need to refresh the materialized views when the underlying data changes. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding the difference between a view and a materialized view. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.